welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to change the front sprocket on the Vortex Mini Rock engine. Okay, for this job, we're going to use either a rattle gun, 17 millimeter socket, otherwise a 17 millimeter ring spanner. I'm going to show you the dodgy way to do it with the big screwdriver that some guys use. Probably should use the uh, piston stop though, and then you'll need an 8 millimeter socket as well for the nuts for the back of the front sprocket and that's a 10 tooth vortex front sprocket right there okay so some guys don't care too much and they will lock the engine up here just like so okay you wedge that down in there and then you can just put the pressure on your spanner if you're in a pickle I don't recommend it though so the preferred method is to take a piston stop and insert that through the spark plug hole Then with your 17mm ring spanner, reverse the engine until you feel the piston hit the piston stop and then you can undo that nut. Or if you've got access to a rattle gun, you can just spin that nut straight off. Just hold the ring gear with your finger. If this washer is stuck, on the crankshaft, you can use your pliers to just wiggle and pull it off. That sometimes happens with uh, some Loctite. Remove the clutch drum. This is your needle roller bearing and a thrust washer. They can stay on. And then you've got your clutch drum. So while the clutch is apart, you can uh, just give this a bit of a clean with some degreaser. Voila. Next up, we're going to use our 8mm socket to undo these, uh, these nuts. If it's hard to hang on to, you can grab a, uh, a rag and that helps and just undo those. They, this is only a 1 8 drive, it should do the job. Should they, they're only small screws so they shouldn't be too tight. If you've got a little extension, chuck one of them on once they're loose. So there's a small locating dowel pin here, and this is what gives the sprocket its drive. Now sometimes it can be stuck, and you can just use your side cutters like so to hold. Other times it can be really stuck. You might have to buy a new one because you can't get it out. Sometimes a bit of heat here to make it grow and you can pull it out. But anyway, if you haven't got one with when you get your new sprocket, you're going to have to get the old one out and use it. So get your new sprocket out of its packet and start the reinstallation process. Grab the dowel pin and place it into the new sprocket. Make sure you've got a little bit of Loctite on hand and put a tiny dab on your screws. Okay, and then making sure that this guy lines up, there's no other way. We can put that in there just fits in and just rotate it over and, and hold it with the back part of your hand. Insert the screws. Do them up with the 8mm socket. Now you're ready to reinstall the clutch drum onto the onto the engine. There's a new washer, tiny bit of Loctite. Then the nut. Now you can see the nut has a recess here that goes on for the chain to run in. If you put it on back to front it'll look like this and then you'll knock the corner of this nut off and the chain will rub onto the clutch nut.
rattle that up just lightly. You don't have to swing on this nut, okay? It's only just to hold the clutch drum onto the crankshaft. Doesn't use it for drive. Vortex mini rock, front sprocket, that's how you get it done. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic or on the internet www.powerrepublic.com.au. See you in the next video.